Welcome back, Captain. Do you have some news for me regarding Dr. Olay's? Hmm. I'm not surprised. The man fled every consequence he ever faced. Of course, you don't expect me to just take you at your word, do you? Excellent. Please, deposit it in the transfer system. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Is 
So, where to next? Something on your mind. Captain, welcome back. I was afraid you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how's it feel to be a citizen? <laughs> Must have changed up how the ceremony works. I just raised my hand and said, sure, I'm in. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data and, well, we're gonna need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. be something, wouldn't I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found our research team? That's incredible. That accelerates everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait. Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Well, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? That's not funny. Seriously, how'd you find them? No. That's... that's insane. He died. They executed him. They... They faked his death? My entire unit, they threw us all to the wolves, but kept him? And now he's what? An advisor? Commanding the fleet in secret? 
What was so important that they had to keep him alive? Well, they certainly picked an expert, didn't they? He's... alive. Vevictus is still alive. I don't care if they're using him to solve world hunger. The man is a criminal. How could the UC do something so foolish? I guess it makes sense, though, doesn't it? The UC of that era only created me because they were afraid of a world without Ve Victus in command. Why would they get rid of him? As long as I live, I'll never understand the loyalty that old bastard elicited. You've got nothing to apologize for. Because the UC, they did a lot of terrible things for that man. But even knowing they did, knowing that they kept him alive all this time, you know what I feel right now? It's hope. I had no one when I was outside the UC. No red devils, no family. But that old world, where I was no one and my father mattered, that's gone. Thanks to what you and I have done, I have a place again, a purpose. But it's finally one I can be proud of. You and I, we're getting to change what the UC stands for. So I don't care if Evictus is alive or dead. He can rot for all I care. We're the ones who are making the settled systems and the UC better. I refuse to let that man define my entire life. Not anymore. Because there's nothing we can do about past choices. What we can do is try and make the right ones now. So, let's get back to the business at hand. Now, my father just Handing over the information on the research team and Kaiser out of the clear blue? I can't say I trust it. But, if he has something to gain from helping us prevent Terramorph attacks, I'm not seeing it. So while you'll absolutely want to be cautious, what would you think about trying to bring back Kaiser? I think it's the right call. But if Kaiser has been out wandering on his own for all this time, you're gonna need a couple things. Here somewhere. Uh -huh. Here, Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase Nos Belli Machinis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? Oh my god, are you talking about Nero? No wonder no one's found him. Xeno weapons are just the tip of the iceberg in that place. The environment's devastated, there's little, if any, real law. Nero's got more than enough ways to make any visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by Gel. As good a place to start as any. 
Kaiser lets us do field work with a level of precision that there's really no other way to accomplish. More than a few of the options we're looking into, detectors to uncover the Terramorph transmission method, or crafting a targeted biological agent, they require highly specific materials to test against. And asking a group of Marines to accompany us for that kind of work, well, it usually ended up with ruined samples and wounded teammates. The Colony War saw a lot of hard fighting, but Nera got it the worst. Everything the Freestar Collective and UC could muster, ground troops, Xena weapons, mechs, was hurled into the fray. Both sides hoped something would decisively turn the tide, but it never did. When the war finally ended, swaths of that world were so devastated they were effectively abandoned. So what Kaiser's doing there, of all places, I can only guess at. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them. Customer, supplier, merc, regardless, you want jail.
You know? Sorry, trying to wrap this up. I'm pleased hey! to see Scrappers. New model on the floor. These mechs. Damn war machines are Welcome to the one of a kind. History. Refuge and rest home for the hardest Scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill. Proprietor. Appreciate it. Took years to get this place self-sustaining. Plenty elbow grease and creativity. Can I get you started on a tab, then? Or are you here to try and make your fortune in the fields? I'm happy to take your credits however you want to hike them over. It's kind of an inside joke. Other than the fact that we're the only place out here, the mechs we harvest, they're primarily from a group known as the First Cavalry. Their unit was deployed to break the deadlock on this world during the Colony War. Almost succeeded, too, but as you can probably guess, it didn't ultimately work. Left us plenty of scrap to build with, though, so we thought it'd be funny to dedicate this place to the folks that made it possible. So they were pretty widely considered the best damn mech unit in the Freestar Militia. Maybe the Galaxy. Their leader? Major Paxton Hull. They say he was some kind of tactical genius. Whole damn war, he always seemed to be just one step ahead of the UC. But all that changed here on Nera. The fighting was brutal, apparently. Between the aliens and the UC defenses, most of the first cab was wiped out. They say Hull snapped, that he couldn't handle the loss of so many good soldiers. When the ceasefire order finally came, he ignored it. Said he was too close to victory, and didn't want his people's lives to be sacrificed for nothing. So they caught Marshal Hull and the other survivors of the first, locked them all up, and that was that. Lots of money to be made on mech scrap if you know where to look. And I just happen to sell a guide that'll show you the best spots to get started. Couple of words of warning, though. As you may have put together, Nera's more dangerous than a cellophane airlock. And it's not just the environment that'll kill you. You see brought Xeno weapons here during the Colony War, and more than a few decided to put down roots. Sirens are the ones you really need to watch out for. You've also got the unauthorized scrappers, Ecliptic being the worst of the bunch. Kill you for looking at them wrong. Luckily, we sell a wide array of problem solvers in various colors and calibers. Any near a scrapping expedition starts by checking my stock. No better selection on the planet. <laughs>
Nasty kind of alien left behind after the colony war. Pretty much blind. Original ones brought to Nera were all Xeno weapons. But those critters have long since passed. But they left behind more than enough untrained babies to keep the fields plenty interesting. Ecliptic are the meanest damn soldiers of fortune in the galaxy. Make the Crimson Fleet seem polite by comparison. You stumble across any out there, you back away slowly. We'll get ready to kill every last one of them. Kaiser? Uh, no bot around here with that tag. Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? At least that's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit-chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah, that machine's been out there a while now, hunting this one siren, his white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing, or it got him. That's where I recognize that insignia. Red Devils. Yeah, Ahab's definitely your bot. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot, little old white whale of your very own. Maybe you find him. Maybe you get yourself killed. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here, so if you want to find him a whole lot faster, I'll sell you what I know about this. Kaiser's location. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. I'm listening. I get the feeling you're trying to stiff me. That's true. Sorry, but I can't. Look, I'm gonna stop you there. I've got my livelihood to look after here, all right? So, I'm sorry. The fee's the fee. I mean, great for him, but that won't keep a settling in our tanks. And honestly, would you be able to tell if a Terramorph was attacking outside? Sorry. You didn't get this far being that naive. This facility isn't self-sustaining, and you know it. If Terramorph attacks start wrecking cities across the galaxy, no one's coming to help the salvage yard at the tail end of nowhere. We're all in this. Together. I, uh, I guess I see your point. Look, I have to make something on this. But I'll lower the price, okay? Pleasure doing business with you. So, last anyone heard of him, he was out near the Syracuse, shipwreck about a quarter click down the main strip. One of my roughnecks said he heard some kind of beacon. Just keep your ears open. You should find your machine. Eyes open too. Sirens and ecliptic out there, and neither takes prisoners. Oh. And corpse retrieval is not included in this transaction, so now you know. Give Ahab a Kaiser our best. I'm pleased to see Scrapper's disassembly 
damn war machines are better off being erased from history. Finest supplies on the planet. Here's what I've got. find a use for that before it spoils.
totally lost them.
Ecliptic must be getting desperate if they've resorted to searching piles of scrap for mech parts. Carrying enough clutter there, or should we find some more? I'm listening. Feel free to drop some stuff into my bag. Time to go?
Yeah, what is it? I'll only carry the good... Have some goodbye. Find anything useful?
life form to be useful. Why? Required. Voice. Controls. Unlocked. Attempting to resume. Attempting to. Error. Power. Level. Insufficient. Battery. Required. Type. Microcell. Inquire it. Salvage yard. Gel claims him and his pops bought this place for next to nothing. Get you something? I think that's a ridiculous. Someone should have... Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a micro cell. That's military grade tech. I think we might have one, but... I can promise you, it's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but only if you had some quality schematics. So, I just brace for a little sticker shock. Wouldn't have lasted real long here doing what we do without a top-notch fabrication system. So long as you've got the specs, it should be able to handle making you a microcell. But finding materials up to the task, you're likely going to be sifting through quite a few mech hulks out there to find what you need. Though, if you think you can actually manage something like that, I'm willing to make you a deal. I'll point you towards the juiciest harvest sites. Spots where you should be able to find quality parts. But in return, any excess materials you collect, you sell to me, all right? Save us from risking our necks on another run out there. What do you say? Then let me just mark those collection points. Watch yourself out there. I'm not here to be your friend, I'm here to cut up Max.
Don't forget, what can I do for you? I'm sure you've seen them. They're everywhere. Little worms that nest on electronics or sneak into ship engines and suck the juice from them. Big ports like New Atlantis usually have someone whose job it is to pull them out of dock ships. But since it's just us here, the little bastards have pretty much free reign outside the salvage yard. You hear screaming out there? You are the other way. It's either the sirens or someone they've got. That should help us out. So many lives lost when these UC ships were destroyed. Brings back painful memories. Designation, Secusa Lantanus. Top speed, 78 kilometers per hour. Confirmed kills, 107. During the colony war, handling of Unit 99 and its peers were among my personal duties. 
Deploy Unit 99. Defend Unit 99 against hostile forces. But above all, ensure Unit 99 was never used against non-combatants. When I was separated from the Xeno Warfare team with the Armistice, Unit 99 and its broodmates remained here, causing many non-combatant deaths. So I am here to correct my mistake. I have nearly succeeded in disarming their brood. Only Unit 99 remains. out. You're going to be carrying that gooey mess, right?
were able to decipher our method to access Unit 99's control interface. It would allow them to deploy the weapon. This must be prevented at all costs. I'm in total agreement. A frontal assault sounds like it's in order. Moving out. We should have a tour. When you have the time. No, 
service is now complete. Mine, however, continues. Our work here is finished. Now, what is this mission you spoke of? Major Sanon is involved. A plague of terror attacks. That is disconcerting. You are docked at one of a kind. I will meet you there. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the... ...results. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. You've got something for me? <laughs> I can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Geyser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. Hmm. Londinian. Doctor, I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is last. Terramorphs? They can be anywhere, meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on, I'll walk you through what we're thinking. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats terramorphs, the Achilles? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asiles were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. 
We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. Well, there is another option. It'd be faster, maybe even more effective. But it's got its own risks. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect, their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work, and not to mention some highly specialized materials. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. A Seely's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines, or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around but we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. It's dangerous, yes, but Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's gonna put us and the mission at risk. Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? <laughs> it's certainly not encouraged. But the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. It was the central hub for Asili's processing during the Colony War. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asili's were first found there. The planet it's on, Ptolemon II, was their homeworld. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asilis were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asilis were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began and the key to its end. Of course, it's a big ask. You do what you have to. We're not going anywhere without you.